welcome to worshipatorials.com. All right, that was in stereo. Again, we're Ooh, getting good at this, Brad. Stereo. Uh, today, we are going to tell you about uh, my favorite, and I think Brad's favorite. My favorite, also too. Cases for uh, guitars, and they have a lot of other accessories as well. And I'm talking about mono bags. <laughs> the bat I want to say this and I want to uh, a big thank you to Mono uh, they sent us a bunch of cases so that we could test them out and talk to you about their full lineup of bags that they have uh, but this is my personal Mono bag that I bought in January of 2016 so this bag is now three and a half years old and I have used it literally every single week of my life since then pretty much to transport Sometimes guitars twice a week to yep. oh yeah to and from and I don't know if you can tell in the video but this bag is uh, shows a little wear like you can see some stuff up here but these zippers not bad I mean this thing has stood the test of time three and a half years now of constant use I love these bags so they sent us a, a bunch of bags from their lineup that we're gonna tell you about and one that we're gonna give away to one of you so uh, let's start talking about it. This is probably their most popular bag. Yeah. This is the Vertigo bag. Uh, the Mono Vertigo electric guitar bag. It comes in two colors. You're seeing them right here. This is the black one. This is my old black one. And this is like a bluish gray. They say it's just gray on the site, but yeah. it's, it's like a, a bluish gray. Cool it color. is the most attractive guitar bag I have ever seen. Yeah. And. Uh, and the, the question you might ask yourself is, why would you want a gig bag over a, a hard shell case? The yes. second question you might ask is, why do I want to buy a gig bag that costs as much as it, maybe my guitar did? Yeah. Because <laughs> these gig bags are Valid questions. These gig bags are not cheap. Mm -hmm. But there are um, a few things about these bags that, uh, in my opinion, make them you can superior, say my opinion too. in our opinion, <laughs> make them superior to hard shell cases yeah. for everyday uh, use, getting them to and from church, gig, wherever you're going. Uh, I would far prefer one of these bags over a hard shell case. Absolutely. And so here they are. Number one, uh, just weight, portability, factor, the fact that you can put it on your back, like a backpack, uh, and uh, just take them around, and uh, it's just so much easier to get your gear to and from in one of these yeah. than in a hard shell case. Yeah, and like, even small things like this random handle here, uh, you would not believe yes. how many bags I pick up, and I go for a handle like this, and they don't have one, Yes. and I'm like, I, this is so, you, even if just to put it on my back. But like they've thought of everything. Like the handle yeah. on the side of the bag is just it's thick, it's durable. I mean, it's not going anywhere. Right. And it, this thing looks new. Yeah. And I that carry does. it by this handle pretty yeah. much all the time. And this is almost four years old now. That's nuts. And of constant use. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, so the uh, so the portability factor is huge. The backpack feels good too. It doesn't feel awkward. Yeah. And the the next thing is is um, this thing will protect your guitar. Uh, about as well as a hard shell case in almost all situations. Yeah. Now, a hard shell case by design is going to offer more protection depending on the case. Yeah. Um, Some of but, them it's just, uh, yeah, it's hard like shell. But if you're flying with a guitar and you're going to check it, you probably would be better off buying, and I would suggest that you buy a, a like a travel case and those are going to be heavier duty and more expensive yeah, yet but, than this stuff but these are meant for flight too actually yeah but so there are some features about these bags let's just open them up look inside and we'll show you some more close-ups one of the big feature about these bags is this right here first of all like this level of padding in here is thick mm -hmm. and I want to say it's yours is dirty too yours looks thicker than mine but maybe that's just because it's newer and mine has been compressed by years of guitar that's usage. true but they like yours doesn't feel like it's been used that often that's crazy that's cool to have a comparison yeah the model number on these are is exactly the same yeah. so um, I would guess this is exactly the same bag and if they look different it's just because 
Brad has been using his for about a month, and I've been using mine for about four years, <laughs> three and a half years. But this right here, this is like a little cradle that holds your guitar neck. So the biggest thing about about transporting a guitar is uh, the headstock, and if it if it experiences a force, especially if you have a, a Gibson style guitar with an angled headstock, if it lands on that headstock, the headstock can break really easily. So what happens is when you put a guitar in one of these bags the neck rests on this right here and this part closes on top of it and yeah. it just cradles it, it and that it causes the guitar to not move around and it also suspends the headstock so the headstock is not actually resting on it's like suspended in the case yeah which makes it really safe to transport it one of the features i really like is the way they have a boot on it's the bottom boot. The bottom of the bag. And on the gray one, you got this cool, like, yeah, orange, orange red color. That's actually kind of why just, I wanted it. It's just a plain with. old gray. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it's the goal is that it, it, it absorbs a shock. So if you do yes. drop it, I typically am careful with my guitars, anyways, but I have had one or two times where, I've, as I've been taking a guitar off, it's slipped off my shoulder or something if I'm carrying yeah. pedal board, amp, backpack. Right. And it lands, like, I don't have to, you don't worry about it. Yeah. Um, but it also helps keep just this whole thing solid. Like, this is about as solid as you can get without being an actual hard case. Right. Like, this is, I mean, it almost feels like there's got to be, like, plastic I, or something I, in it. And, I, and like I said earlier, I far prefer this yeah. to a hard shell case. Absolutely. And, yeah, this, I mean, this boot is ultra protective. And there's a lot, like, when if you would feel in here... Like there's a lot yeah, more protection. It's deep. Just little things like at the bottom of this boot, there's like a little divot where the uh, end pin, like if you grab that guitar, we'll talk, show you what we're talking about. Like there's a strap button on right. the bottom of a guitar and like there's a there's a spot for the strap button so that your, your strap button is forcing pressure into your Thought guitar. Thought of everything. And so really these things are designed to fit guitars uh, like a glove. And I'm talking like when I say I put a guitar, so I have this PRS Custom 24 10 top behind me, which ain't a cheap guitar. And it comes with a uh, serious case. Oh, like yeah. that it's case weighs like weighs, weighs like 40 pounds or something crazy. Probably not quite. I'm embellishing. But um, I haven't used that case once. I put it, actually have been putting it in the dual bag, which we'll show you in a bit. So this is the Mono Vertigo M80. How big of a guitar can you get in here? That's the question. What's cool though is, side note, is they do actually make these cases for semi-hollows. So they are a little they bigger. Mm -hmm. They and also acoustics. make them and acoustics. Mm -hmm. I've put my Elliott in here. I've put Jazz, so Jazzmaster jazz stuff. Masters, and I've put yep. that, that Shelton Jazzmaster yep. in here. We've put a Duesenbergs in here. We've put Gretches in here. And a du so a Duesenberg is light, is pretty long. It's mm -hmm. actually longer than almost, you know. It's got it's a longer scale length. Yeah, it's longer scale length, but the like the headstock is tall. Yeah. Like the Duesenberg comes up to about right. It fits perfectly. It's just right up to the top uh, yeah. in this case. That'll fit. So uh, I've put my Gretsch Jet in here and... Um, the uh, Jennings in here, both of those guitars have uh, Bigsby's on them. So Bigsby tremolo system, yep. no problem. In fact, one of the things that you'll see here is it has like this different kind of material that won't bind. And down in here too. Yeah, that won't bind where your, like your strings are on the peg head. And it also has it down here. So if you have whatever kind of bridge system you have, it's yeah. protected against because like, a lot of bags and things will start and you just tear out, you know, eroding and stuff because of that. Yeah. So I and I have put a three thirty five style guitar in here back when I had the Eastman. That's right. I carried it around in this bag as well. So I really haven't encountered a guitar that won't fit in this bag, but I will say like I haven't tried to put a full hollow body Gretsch style guitar in one of these. Uh, if you're in, in the comments and you have, let us know if the Mono M80 Vertigo will hold a like a, a White Falcon sized guitar. Okay, so next up is one of the bags I was super excited for them to send us. This is the M80 Classic uh, Dual Case for electric guitar. So this bag Look will how hold thick it is. Will hold two electric guitars, and it is like. The, the styling and the design of this is like their M80 Classic. I'm pretty sure you can get a single electric guitar bag that is in this uh, style. The Vertigo's a little more sleek 
than the than the, the classic design. But let's this just thing is pretty big. Let's just talk about how this works. So I've been using this for a solid month now because what happens for me, I'm playing electric guitar mostly at church, and I like to bring two. And it's always nice to have a backup. So uh, carrying two uh, guitars is a pretty common thing for most people. And but so, it's not a very fun thing. No, and what I have been doing is I would put one in my Vertigo, old Vertigo bag, and I'd carry the other in a case, which I hated. I hate carrying a case when I have a mono bag option. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, let's just talk about how this works. So, uh, it le legitimately is like just two of these bags fused together. So, here's, big. here's the first one, and the... Um, they call this the headlock. It's a little different than in the mono or than the vertigo uh, case. Uh, what happens is the headstock of the guitar goes here and it has this little flap that Velcros and it locks it in. But it pretty much works the same. So that's side number one. You got the same kind of features. And then the other one opens on the other side. So you just legitimately have two guitars and they face the same direction. And so I've been using this and I have put two guitars with tremolo systems in here at the same time, so, so you can do that. Like, uh, actually, just the other day, I had the Gretsch Sparkle Jet with the Bigsby and the PRS, no, and the Strat over there with just a Strat trim system. And uh, yeah, about pretty much the same sizing goes for this bag as the Vertigo, um, and you can just take two. And I will say, depending on the, the, the weight of your guitars, um, it's not bad. It's not super heavy. Like I, I when I first got well, if it, if you put two less paws in there, <laughs> yeah, no, if you put two like nine or ten pound less paws. But the bag itself is pretty light. Pretty lightweight. Yes. Yeah, so let's hold it that up again it's a, so you can see it. And if you can't really tell in the video, it kind of looks about as big as like a, an acoustic case would. It really does. An acoustic car case. About that size. It's a little bigger thickness wise, and wider. obviously this is a little different shape. But like. Just so you can get an idea, like if you're wondering mm -hmm. how big would this be if I were to get one, like it kind of imagine like a hard shell case for an acoustic. So this is the newest offering from Mono, and this is the case that we're going to be giving away. Giving away. One of you. Stay tuned for details. Actually, follow us and follow Mono on Instagram. Links below. That is going to be part of the giveaway, but you want to follow us there anyway just to get details on how to do this. Brad's finding secret Yeah, there's like a secret pocket. Like thing. what the... Yeah, so, so cool. We'll talk about that later. These bags come just full of places to put stuff, yeah. by the way. Uh, this is called the Stealth. Let's just show them how thin this is. So this bag is a much lower profile bag. Let me do this. Than the, yes. Put them on here. top of one another. This is the easiest way to do this here. Yes. See the difference? So the Stealth on the bottom, the Vertigo on the top. The Stealth is a much lower profile bag. Still offers a great deal of protection. It's still pretty rigid. Let's just open it up and show you. So it has a, a version of their headlock system. That's what they call it, the headlock system. So the head, the neck of the guitar is going to rest in here. It's going to suspend the headstock and take pressure, any pressure off of the headstock as you transport it. It's got um, that new case smell. Yes, it does. And so, uh, yeah, this case is, is much lighter. It's got pockets everywhere. Like yep. you can put a bunch of stuff up here. Wow. Put a bunch nice of stuff in there. Here. Yep. Yeah, I mean these bags have pockets all over them. If you don't want to use the straps. Yes, you can actually have a place unhook them and tuck them. Tuck them in. Yeah, yep. and you can do that on all the bags. Yeah. Yeah. So the so the stealth uh, lower profile, and then they have another option called the sleeve. Mm -hmm. And I'll try and throw a picture up from the website thinner. of the sleeve. It's an even thinner option. Uh, and so let's talk about who these are for. Uh, so that's anybody who plays guitar. Well, they're for they anybody talk. who plays guitar. But the uh, <laughs> the Vertigo and the and, and the M80 Classic bags are gonna be your um, your most heavy duty yeah. bags from Mono. And so the Stealth is gonna be for somebody who maybe you just need to transport a bag to and from, you know, not like all the time. You need need you need some protection for a guitar. Like if I was gonna let somebody borrow a guitar and I just like. And take it down to Fuller's house and let them borrow. I just throw it in that bag and take it to them, and, and I know it's going to be taken care of. Yeah. Um, and then the sleeve is kind of uh, at that level, but maybe just a little bit less protection. Yeah. But again, way more sleek, transportable. This is another bag from their M80 series. This is called the Tour Pedalboard Bag, and this will fit a PT2 pedalboard from Pedal Train or anything in that vein. Yeah. Anything in that vein. So you know what this fits perfectly. The Helix. Is the Line 6 Helix. In fact, 
I have one of these bags that I bought around the same time I bought that other bag. And I have used it also for the last three and a half years to transport my Helix back and forth. So um, Helix will fit perfectly in here. And what you get, like, it's the same kind of thing. It's just you get a ton of protection. And now I have... Lots of handles, too. I love yeah, it. Handles, straps, heavy, heavy, heavy duty stuff. And so... Um, yeah, you can see lots of protection. This is like that, that hard nylon material. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is soft, so it's not going to like, you know, damage the top of any kind of pedals or anything that you put in there. Um, and it's pretty deep. Actually, they've made it deeper than my old one. Uh, so we I wanted to show so. off this new one. This, I think it says, yeah, 2 or 2.0. So they have a line of pedal board cases. And uh, so they've got this big section for your board or whatever. And when I when I use the axe effects, um, I put the FC12 and a expression pedal in here, and it fits all that. Yep. And so um, they also have a top compartment here that has stuff in it, so you can put all kinds of stuff in here. It's actually a pretty big. Ryan, there's like what four straps in there? You gotta, you gotta be prepared, Bradford. Depending take, on your wardrobe, take backups and backups for your backups. Only four straps, depending on you don't want to you don't hey, want to wear a brown strap with a black tell shirt. You something. Okay, so there there are three straps in nope, here. Nope, nope, there's four. Okay, there are four straps in here. <laughs> okay, four is unnecessary. I will I will concede, but three has helped me in a pinch because I'll have one on each guitar, and then I have had a situation come up, probably OA. Let's just be honest. <laughs> Where anything. somebody was like, Brian, can I borrow a strap? I need something. Can I borrow basic essentials to play guitar that and, I should have And had? like this, this compartment here is just always full of picks and capos, capos. and things. Yeah. I have been enjoying this case, a killer bag. the version one of this case, again for years to get my stuff. And I have a uh, pet, so I do, I used, I have a pedal train PT2 sitting right over here. Mm -hmm. And when I bought it, I got their aluminum hard shell case. Have you used that thing? Yeah. Do you like using that thing? Well, I don't like using hard cases. I don't either. And this is not to poo-poo hard, hard cases. A hard case great. that I do like, like is a Pelican yes. with wheels. Yeah, I well, do like that. Yeah, but they're light, lighter yeah. weight and even more transportable. But, but I prefer this over the aluminum yeah. PT2 mm -hmm. case. I actually want to get a PT2 in just a so I can way. put this, put it in there. Put it in here. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and I use the. Uh, I use the shoulder strap with this pretty much every weekend too. So like I I'll get two guitars, board, expression pedal, and then I have another like uh mono doesn't make one of these, but I have a maybe mono could make one of these and I'll I'll buy one. Uh a rack bag. A rack bag that I put my Axe FX3 in. And so basically I have this on my strap to my bat over my shoulder, like a shoulder bag the dual electric guitar case on my back like a backpack and I'm carrying the Axe FX3 and I have a free hand. Okay? That's like, important for Brian. Think about, think about how much gear you can haul in on your back with a free hand because you got to have coffee in the, on Sunday mornings, let's be honest. And so, um, yeah, these things let, allow you to do that. So if you hit the link below, you can go to Mono's website where you can see all of the stuff that they offer. They have they like got way more than we yeah, talked about. Yeah, acoustic too. guitar stuff. They have sim oh, cymbal bags. For, they have a bag. Drummers. I forgot. We forgot. They have a bag where you can get like acoustic on one side and an electric on the other. Do they too. have an acoustic electric? Yes, so you can, that's right. So it's like a that's dual that's pretty electric. common for worship leaders, mm -hmm. like to to have one of each. Like that happens. Can't I, I forgot almost that. bought that bag back when I was doing Coffee House because I would do electric guitar for the first set and acoustic guitar yep. for the second. Yeah, but I just carried my acoustic in the hard case. You can also get accessories from Mono. Um, Ooh. Like, and so Styling this is the, This is the Mono Wallet. I'm just going to plug it for a second because I've been using it. One of the cool things about the Mono Wallet is, check it out. These things are made for guitar players. In fact, their little motto on all their stuff says, Go Play mm. on it. And so you get a little pick holder here. So you can get accessories like this. Uh, they also have straps, and I've actually looked into. They have like the. I, I'm becoming an old man, so I really want the super wide, like comfortable strap. As seen here. Yeah. So they've got a lot of stuff that are just built for guitar players. They have a bag called the Tick, T I C K, and it actually it goes onto. It sort of fits onto these bags. You can. And it's like it right here. Yeah, that's what these are for. That's what these are for. It's and it is something Thank that can hold too. like it can like if. You know, it can hold an acoustic preamp pedal or you know, some pedals, like a little pedal board. I think it can hold like a pedal train a nano too. Yeah. Like I think so. 
or stuff yeah, like it'll that. hold straps and picks and that kind of thing for you. Just a little accessory bag, so you can sort of the almost like a modular kind of a system. So we love mono bags. We're yes, giving we a mono bag away. You can win this mono bag. I hope you do, because that would be awesome. Again, stay tuned for details on how you can win that. And again, a huge thank you to Mono yes. for sending these out to us. Thank to you. Check out and uh, we love them. Just how great they are. See you next time.